Hey, this is Ace here with Hillbilly How To's. So today um, I'm working on a Whirlpool clothes dryer. Um, so it's actually, it turns on fine, but it's not heating. So we're going to try to fix that today. So we're going to pull out uh, the dryer to get to the back of it. Um, the first thing and most important is to unplug the dryer. Uh, we are going to be um, touching some of the, the wires um, here in the back. So make sure you unplug the dryer. Um, and then just unscrew um, all the, the little screw uh, nuts there. Um, mine is a quarter inch and I think that's that's pretty standard on most of the back of the dryers. So if the dryer is not heating but still running, one of the most common problems is one of the fuses um, has went out and that was the first one and then there's a second one and then there's a third one. So we've got to figure out which one is not working. So in order to check the fuses to see which one is not working, I'm going to be using a voltmeter. Uh, this is a, a cheap uh, voltmeter from Harbor Freight. Um, you can get one for just a few dollars there at Harbor Freight. It's pointed down there at the uh, 20K. Um, and then we're going to touch um, both ends of each one of the fuses um, to see if there's continuity. Um, basically a completed circle with the fuse because once the the fuse goes bad that uh, continuity actually breaks um, So this is just demonstrating if you touch the the two together It will go to zero and that means it's made a complete loop um, So right here. We're just touching that bottom fuse um, There's two wires going into that long um, white fuse um, And it doesn't matter um, which one you touch um, I mean it doesn't matter which uh, the red or black on the the top or bottom um, doesn't matter all we're we're looking for is if it makes a complete circle and you know we've got a, a good connection with that fuse uh, which this one is um, showing okay there on the the voltmeter so I tested uh, each one of the three fuses and the top one is the one that is bad. So I'm actually taking it off now. There's only one screw uh, that you got to take off and just unplug the, the two wires there. Um, I'm going to show you when you touch the, the two ends of this one, um, when it's bad, you won't get any movement. Uh, that one there on the voltmeter, it won't move. Uh, when it's good, you'll start getting all all numbers. You'll start going crazy, and then it'll zero. So it it will zero itself out um, if it is good. As you can see, we're not getting anything with this one. So this one is um, dead. Just to show you again, if the fuse was good, uh, touching the the two uh, connectors together, as you can see, the the meter starts going crazy and trying to zero itself out. So I went to uh, my local uh, Patterson store and bought a fuse kit. Uh, it actually came with two of the fuses. Um, I think it was about $16. Um, and I just changed that top one out. Um, the dryer works perfect now. It's heating heating fine. Um, if you don't have a uh, voltmeter, which I would recommend getting one if you've got a local uh, Harbor Freight, just because they're so cheap uh, they are just a, a few dollars and they do come in handy for simple stuff like this um, if i was doing um, you know more high voltage stuff i would probably get a better one um, if you don't have a, um, a voltmeter um, i mean i would recommend going ahead and, and changing all three of the fuses out because uh, more than likely that's what your problem is um, and they're not that expensive, and you've got brand new ones in there, even if it's not your problem. I hope this video helps someone, and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe.